yeah good day guys i believe we all are doing just so beautifully correct in today's tutorial i will be showing you how to design this awesome birthday flyer with the help of your pixel app application today is tuesday and you welcome back to don's graphics so the person on this picture her name is says i got it randomly on pinterest so no infringement of copyrights intended all right so i just want to demonstrate how you can design your birthday flyer uh, using this awesome um, picture all right so i would love to delete everything then i do away with this text but then i must say you should watch this video to the end because it will help you to understand how we came about this design also at the end of the video i will show you how you can get all of the resources so make sure to watch and like the video all right so click on these three dots then go to image size and change your image size to a width of 1026 and as usual our height is on change um it's 1280 so now you click ok and click here i'm taking step by step especially for beginners so click on this middle button then you click on import which will now allow you to import our background so the background we are using for this design is this i guess we are going to crop it using three by four ratio which is down here once you're done cropping it size it up okay just size this up to you know cover at the full length of your design space but then try to bring it up this way okay it should not cover completely uh, we have an opening down here okay so we have an opening down here now what you're going to do is lock up this background layer and the next thing i'm going to do is to start bringing in my images so i'm going to go and the first thing is to bring in this one okay let's bring in this one then we're going to size it up and uh, somehow try to position it here it's really very beautiful lady so all right so we're going to bring in another one and the image is really quite good and true to details so we're going to bring in this other image again here okay so just you know position this one here neatly and we're now going to bring in the last image which is this one which i'm going to uh, position it here also all right so um i'm still going to push this image outwards okay just like this then i bring this one a little bit inwards and for the first image i'm going to bring it here okay so we want to close up the gap uh, between the images then we bring this one now closer okay so we don't just want to leave any spaces between the images all right so that's why now once you're done with that you can notice that um our background oh sorry so i'm going to lock them up all so make sure you lock them then you subscribe to the channel and tell us where you're watching from i'll be calling out your name if you do so in my next tutorial so i'll be sending you a shout out just let me know where you are watching us from today greetings to all of all, all of you watching from nigeria from ghana from gambia from india pakistan from zambia from cameroon we love you all all right so let us know where you are watching us from like i was saying um i would love to know I'll let you know why we are going to blend our background so as you can see part of this background is is half so how do we solve that problem now the first way we are going to solve that problem is to import um kind of a floor background i blended this using a pix ad okay pix ad so quickly i'm going to go to after bringing this bringing this in i want to go to my layer and push it to the back but not to the back of the original background so it should just be above the original background all right so you can see that the lady the the image of the lady is now standing well 
then but we still have a problem because part of this side is not yet blended so to say so we are going to lock this one now no worries we're going to handle it so go to a draw to uh, increase your pen size increase your smoothness your blur radius tap your finger on the screen you can tap multiple times then you click on your check mark okay so what we want to do is to create now a fade which has already been created because the fading is here as you can see um please subscribe to the channel like the video drop your comments all right telling us especially where you're watching us from today so click on your check mark and we have the shadow so we're just going to stretch this out to cover um part of this design or part of the image so that it can be blended but as you can see it's not good because the leg part of this leg is hidden which is not making sense so i'm quickly going to send this to the back of these two images two but the last so i'm sending it just to these two images behind them but this one is still standing in front of it okay so you can see that uh, what i literally mean is the shadow should be uh, behind these two images and in front of this uh, first image let me illustrate that okay so what i mean is this shadow here should be behind these two images okay it should be behind this one and this one but it should be in front of this main one so that it can cover this section beautiful if you understood subscribe to the channel to even understand more so once you've done all of that like i said today is tuesday by the way hope you are doing just good um what we're going to do now since we are done placing all our elements the next thing we want to do is you know to bring in um our text okay so we're going to start write a date so i just want to write a random date here uh, no issues at all so i want to write 9th of may 2025 okay then look at what i'm going to do i'm going to go to color click on your plus button once you're on color now it will allow you to pick a color from the background when you click here as well okay on this color picker so we're going to pick our color from the background and i want to pick this uh the color from here so you can see here you click now on your check mark and uh, yeah we are good to go with that so i'm going to position it here but i'm going to go to my fonts and i choose poppins medium poppins is good for that so i can reduce it a bit in size and use little position to place it just like so okay so after placing it there we are quickly going to go to spacing and you know space out this text uh, completely to full capacity then you use relative position now to make sure it's on the middle yeah so we're done with the date next i'm going to write the, the wish so i'm going to write happy birthday first of all i'll write happy okay take note i'm just writing happy for now but then i'm going to use that same font uh color sorry same color then go to font and the font we are using is called taken by virtual taken by virtual font good and since part of the font is the is not showing well as you can see the letter h is not showing well so how do you solve that problem go to paddling okay let me zoom this in so you can see what i'm talking about you can see that this letter h here is not really showing all completely so we are going to paddle it to the left and to the right as well all right so click on okay let me zoom back all right good so once you've achieved this you can send it upwards but not too close to this brighter part all right it will not be visible enough um i'm going to write birthday so happy birthday but then we are going to increase this one now so increase this one then bring this one here all right so let's try to position this text neatly all right so good that's fine now once you've done all of that the next thing you're going to do is to write a wish 
so I'm going to write go to new text and write on your special day on your special day we wish you plenty of love happiness joy and uh, God's blessings upon your life so this literally any any wish you can write any wish here right there are no just any troubles I am just crafting this one for the sake of this uh, tutorial but my keyboard is crazy it's telling me I'm spelling wrong things so there are some adjustments we need to do oh uh, yeah okay so good uh, yeah special day we wish you plenty of love happiness happy belated birthday so which we, we just want to conclude like that happy belated birthday and uh, cheers cheers good so I guess I tried my best to wish her just the best birthday ever I'm going to go to font and the font I'm using is still popping medium all right maintain the same font but now you're going to play around with this text to make sure it fits here so we have this and uh, yeah so let's check it out increase it a bit yeah so and shift it away from the border same for these ones we are trying to make some alignments work here now once you've done that I'm going to bring in an arrow I will show you like I said just watch the video to the end okay so there's an arrow here I would love us to use I will go with this one it's not an arrow it's just a curvy line okay so I obviously going to change the color uh, into something like the skin color so you can just pick the color here from the skin is the same thing okay as you can see same thing the skin color or the skin tone uh, color oh let's send it to the front mistakenly send it to back so I am going to align it as well good so yeah that's that the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring in a flower element here so this is a flower first of all I'm going to rotate it so just rotate it by clicking here please kindly subscribe to the channel especially if you are joining us for the very first time do what to subscribe and like the video so I'm going to send this flower now to the back of uh, yeah all of the images let's see to the back to the back to the back yeah let's check it out okay good so I guess this is fine okay so we can reduce the size of the flower a bit then uh, we try to position it so that that rose part of the flower can be visible enough right so I guess you see what I'm talking about here okay good so guys uh, once you check and you discover that everything is moving on as planned I check your flower to make sure that uh, this rural section of the flower or this nice section of the flower is really showing because it gives some beauty to our design now once you check and you discover that everything is moving on as planned subscribe to the channel and follow me to snaps it as we are going to enhance this design but first of all we are going to save the work so save it let's save it okay so we are saving whilst you subscribe thank you so much now it's done saving we are going to go to snapseed now on snapseed you will see this plus button so quickly click on it select your design and bring it up first of all let's make the design to pop so there are styles here click on pop it will pop out then click on your check mark to confirm the action 
then go to tools click on tools go to tune image structure increase it a bit to 50 percent sharpening sharpen the image a bit the design a bit sorry um to 31 percent click on apply go back to all right let's see um yeah i think this is giving us a vibe no need for further editing here so this is the before okay you can see and this is the after you can see the work of snapseed that's why i love doing finishing touches on snapseed for all of my designs all right it really gives it a good look imagine leaving this design like before let me show you the before and this is the after so you can see there are very big differences very big differences here okay now you're just going to export your work and yeah that's it for the design it's done and delivered so this is how you can design this birthday flyer in just under 20 minutes we are just 15 minutes now this is how you can design a birthday flyer on pixel app using your android smartphone our objective is to make um birthday and church flyer design simple for you on this channel so if you are passionate about birthday and church flyer designs which i know there are a lot of uh, designers out there that do this kind of birthday and church flyers because clients always come for this kind of design right every day is a birthday so if you are passionate about kindly subscribe to the channel look out for more birthday and church flyer designs and even other more awesome design tutorials on Don's graphics it was nice doing this with you on this tuesday thank you so much for watching god bless you i'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye